It's been a while since I've done some low-level content, and since I almost always receive money-making questions, I welcome you to some of the newbiest money-makers RuneScape has to offer. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now, one of the most obvious money makers to grow your wealth in RuneScape is to do shop runs, where you buy runes, meat, or other commodities, and then sell them on the Grand Exchange for a profit. Basically, you're playing Truck Simulator, except it's in RuneScape. Now, this isn't a money maker you can do consistently while growing your RuneScape money pouch. It's more of a daily. The first method we're going to be talking about is something you can do consistently for as long as you want, and it's about as chill of a money maker you can have for its requirements. If you go and do the necromancy tutorial fresh off of Tutorial Island, you'll have access to this moneymaker. It's that easy to unlock. For the truly noobish among you, you can start the necromancy tutorial by heading over to this portal located near the drain or lodestone. Completing this tutorial will not take you very long and will introduce you to some of the basics of necromancy, which I do suggest reading to save yourself from any confusion. After completing the tutorial, head over to the Loop NPC who can be found across the bridge in the city of Um. Next, you're going to want to buy a bunch of Ritual Candles, Ghostly Ink, and Weak Necroplasm. Head back to the Ritual site and place that Weak Necroplasm into your focus storage. This will allow you to use it in Rituals without needing to have it in your inventory. Next, go ahead and focus the pedestal to the Lesser Necroplasm Ritual. In this ritual, you're going to turn weak necroplasm into lesser necroplasm in addition to getting some ectoplasm for your efforts. Before you can start the ritual, you're going to need to place four candles, draw a elemental one glyph, and two regent one glyphs as well. Then just click the pad and start your ritual. Now these rituals will only take you about 40 seconds and during these rituals there will be disturbances which you can react to for extra necromancy experience but as we're focusing on money, you're just going to want to sit back and let the ritual do its thing. After the ritual, you can simply continue and complete the ritual as often as you'd like consecutively until your candles or glyphs deplete of charges. At that point, simply right-click the pedestal and choose Repair All to continue doing rituals. Your outputs can be found in this ritual chest from which you can send them to your bank to sell. Now at this point, you're probably wondering how much money can you make from this method per hour. And I'll be covering exactly that. But first, a word from today's sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN is the one-stop shop for all your internet Net protection needs. It's simple to set up while providing an extensive VPN service that you can run on up to six devices. For those unfamiliar with what this is, it's a virtual private network that safeguards your IP and data to ensure that your online activities remain confidential. I recently went to Egypt and protecting my data while browsing on public Wi-Fi was a high priority. Well, NordVPN is precisely what you want to be using for that and much more. NordVPN lets you access blogged websites, TV shows, and even YouTube videos by connecting to one of the 60 countries available, all while shielding you from malicious ads with its real-time web protection a personal favorite. Pick up NordVPN using my link in the description below to get four months of VPN access for free on top of a two-year plan. If you're not satisfied, don't worry as NordVPN handles a 30-day money-back guarantee. Since you can do a ritual every 42 seconds, that's about 85 rituals per hour rounded down. That will get you 8,500 lesser necroplasm and 255 ectoplasm. That equates to about 2.5 million GP in total, which is insane considering that you can do this method straight off of Tutorial Island. Now, you are able to increase your outputs by using the Multiply Alteration Glyph, but because it's currently too costly to use, I don't suggest doing this. If you're level 50 Necromancer, you can also increase your outputs by about 5%, the lesser Necroplasm that is, with the Tome of Um 2. And in case you're a low-level player, but you have the Halloween mask thanks to the recent Halloween event, you won't actually need to repair your candles at all and only need to repair your glyphs every so often. But chances are, if you're watching this video, you don't actually own that item. Now, the next money-making method technically requires nothing, as you can do this from level 1 mining, but it does get faster as you level and get yourself a higher tier pickaxe. Yes, we're talking about a money-making method that bots used to do. And there's a very good reason why people were botting this method. It requires very little actions, making it easy for players to do it like yourself. Now, mining regular clay is okay profit. It's about 1 million GP per hour, and that's AFK. But soft clays were far more, as that's an item you can use directly to create urns, which is also a profitable money-making method, but it has high requirements. Now, what these bots used to do is turn their clay into soft clay by adding water to it at this well outside the Burthorb mine. 
This is the slow way of doing it, but because they're bots, it doesn't matter. Now, you are able to mine soft clay directly. However, there's only a single spot in RuneScape at which you can do this, and that's the one inside Elf City, which is a high-level city behind many quests and stat requirements. Thankfully, there's a solution. And it's not even a member solution either. You can mine soft clay by mining regular clay using a bracelet of clay, costing about 3,000 GP a pop. With this item, you're able to mine regular clay and get soft clay. So the clay you want, as it's worth like 600 GP more a piece. These bracelets last for 28 charges, meaning you're able to get a full inventory before one degrades. This is perfect as you're able to set up a preset in which you load a new empty inventory plus you wielding a bracelet of clay every time you bank. And there you go, you're now mining the far more valuable and in demand soft clay. By doing this, you're able to get around 1.51 million GP per hour, and if we subtract the costs of those bracelets, you're making a little bit over 1.41 million GP per hour. That's 44% more money per hour than regular clay mining. The next method involves smithing, as we're going to be smelting bars, a method that is profitable across different tiers of ore, as of right now. Now, since we're going for a low-level method, I reckon golden bars at level 40 smithing will be your best bet. All you need for this method is a bunch of gold ore and a furnace, which you can find in multiple areas around Gilanor. Then literally, all you do is smelt these bars, deposit them into the furnace, click it again, and continue doing the process over and over, which is incredibly AFK. Now, while this does require a quest, you are able to make this method even more AFK by using the smelting gauntlets, which you can get from the family crest quest, requiring level 40 crafting, smithing, and mining. This item will allow you to smelt up to 60 bars in a single action, making this method twice as AFK. Profit-wise, you're able to get 950 GP profit, net profit that is, per golden bar smelted, and you're able to make just shy of 1,500 of these per hour, giving you a profit of 2.5 million GP per hour. Not bad for a player with 40 smithing. The next moneymaker is especially good when a new Fort for Infrey expansion is added, which will not be happening anytime soon. I'd still like to mention it though, as it has the potential to make you bank when others least expect it. Me covering this method in the video will probably do it more damage than good in the short term, but if you're watching this video in the future, chances are you can make a lot of money with this method, because that's when people don't expect it and aren't doing it. This method requires level 20 construction and the new foundations quest to be complete. What you're going to do is you're going to grab a full inventory of planks. Then you're going to go into your bank, click this settings wheel, and save it as a preset. Make sure the inventory icon is ticked off here. What this does is it allows you to quickly bank and grab a new full inventory of planks by simply pressing the one button, given that it's your first preset. You're then going to just simply run back and forth to this sawmill and create refined planks of a certain type, and then continue doing that. You're able to make around 1,050 of these refined planks per hour, and currently it seems that Willow refined planks are selling and you're able to make about 2.4 million GP per hour net profit, which is very solid. Now, the profit of this method entirely depends on the price of items. My tip to you is to check if refined planks of a certain type are selling. If you can't instant sell them on the Grand Exchange, chances are they aren't in demand. You should also check the price of buying planks. To figure out if it's profitable, simply compare the cost of buying three planks to selling a single refined plank, as every refined plank requires three planks. Again, I'm only mentioning this method because it has the potential to be up to 10 mil GP per hour or more, depending on the times. And with that being said, we've come to the end of this low-level money-making video. Now, there are many more low- to mid-level money-makers. In fact, I tried a couple of others. However, I figured that these would be the most straightforward and probably stay consistent for longer than others. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.